in three, two, one. It's a Monday, and we're here to do Monday things. What were you talking about? Oh, the Monday things. Will they do themselves? Nay. No. We have to do it. It must be us. Uh, Hi, everybody. It's Scott Johnson and Carter Johnson here with The Monday Show. We're here. We're doing uh, stuff. Carter, I got a question for you we have to get out of the way. What is your question for me? It's It's a gender question. Oh, okay. So let's, you know, clear the table, everybody. We got a big one coming. Yeah. Clear the table. We're talking about gender. <laughs> um, <laughs> I noticed that you and and your friend Alicia, when she's with you, when you guys do your live game streams. Yeah. And even this show, mm-hmm. you do makeup before. Yeah. And I didn't know that that was a thing. And looking around, it looks like pretty much no guys that I know do it at all. There's no like... You know, I mean, there's got to be some. There's probably somebody you just, somewhere. You just don't have those friends, right? Well, you know what I'm saying. Most like game streamers, big and small, they just get on the air and yeah. they go. Usually, they're all disheveled and they don't care what they look like. Yeah. Women seem to always do the makeup thing, and my question is: Is that a part? Is that a societal pressure thing to always be made up and ready to look pretty on I a think camera? It can be. But what is it for you guys? For me specifically. Yeah, I won't speak for anyone else because I know there's lots of people who just like looking a certain way. Right. Like I'm, everyone does that. Yeah. You know, you wear certain clothes, you do your hair a certain way, you do your makeup a certain way. Right. Um, for me, I have two reasons. Okay, go. With the stream with Alicia, we've been dressing up and having a lot of fun because we're playing um, Apollo Justice, which is like really, really fun and like silly. The characters are super silly and all over the place. And so we've been... Wait, you're cosplaying on it? On not the... cosplaying, oh. but we've been wearing like fun outfits as like a gag. Okay. To be like, oh, we're, it's like we're part of it. It's fun. It's silly. No, I don't have a problem with that. That's fine. Um, And then for this show... Yeah. Well, sometimes I just like having my makeup done fun, but I also have an issue right now with my skin. Your skin is fine. I have weird skin. So I actually... They're called flat warts. <laughs> Ew. And it's literally warts on my face. It's gross. I, I agree. I don't see them. That's because I put on makeup. Makeup. But the, they, they're they a little bit red and kind of just like, they they don't do anything. They're just a little like spotchy and I don't like that. And so I put on a little makeup so you can't see it on camera. That's totally fine. Like I'm none of this is a judgment thing. I just was curious because. I've seen you put on a little makeup. No. Cover up counts. Oh yeah, no. If I get like a big zit or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that that's not. That's essentially the same thing. But I'm not doing makeup. I'm literally taking my pinky and going. What do What do you think that is? Cover, covering up a zit. Yeah, with makeup. Yeah, but, uh, I'm just saying, there's lots of reasons to put on makeup. That is putting on makeup. Yeah, but I'm not doing eyeliner and lipstick no. and and b- uh, base or whatever you call it. Base. Neither am I. Is it base? I don't have eyeliner. Is it called base? I have base? a little lipstick. Is it no, called it's base? called. Foundation. Oh, foundation. That's it. Yep. Okay. Another word for base, basically. Yeah. But but yeah. I, I don't do any of that. Like this mole here, I should cover it up, but I don't. I, just I like it. your mole. Well, some people have said the same thing. I think it's awful. The Monday show art, I think, has a mole on it. Your, your you official little face. Hold on. I always draw you with it because I think it's cute. Oh, yeah. Did you? I can't it's tell. It's unique. I can't tell on this one. Hold on. Is there a way for me to... Make it big? Yeah, I'm going to blow it up just for a second. Nope, you didn't do it on this one. No dot. I didn't? Mm-mm. I swear I did. You might have on the one for me and mom. The skim mm-hmm. one. I don't know. I know. I definitely did the skim one, but yeah. I thought I did on this one. Maybe. Are you, you turned to the side? Is that why? Well, it's kind of up and looking down. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. All I, I know is do. this has been here my whole life, but for most of my life, it was covered in hair. Yeah. Because it's... my hairline was down here <laughs> and to here, right? Now it's right way up here. And so now it's out. It's naked and for the world to see. Uh, someone in just Thomas in the chat says, did you wear makeup when you did the BlizzCon stage work? You know, I did, but I didn't put it on. Someone did me. Yeah. I sat in a chair and some lady. It's to make you look pretty. Well, it's make you a lot. Not, they want you not to be shiny. They don't do any like eye makeup. It's just like, yeah, here's enough. And then they I shine just, some lights on you. I feel sure like you, you don't okay. understand the purpose of makeup and the purpose of makeup is whatever level you want to do for whatever reason, that's still makeup. Well, like I say. I have no judgment for it. I just something I noticed. Everybody gets really primped and prettied up on the female side of streaming, and the male side they just don't seem to care. I and I don't know if that's just, is that just society. Thing. But I also think that because we know. do that with everything, right? You guys are always expected to. So what you're saying is men should be wearing more makeup. I'm saying that women should be expected, shouldn't be expected to do that. They should do what they want. I think a lot of women do, even if it is makeup. Because let me tell you what I like. 
you want to know what my type is? What's your type? Oh, no. No makeup. I love a person. I don't think you know what no makeup means. No, I do. Like I saw a picture of, um, everyone made fun of it too. It was a picture. Oh, it was Lady Gaga with no makeup on. And I was like, she is a beautiful, I want you natural to pull human up, being. I want you to pull up Lady Gaga with no makeup, but I want to prove something right, to you. Let's do it. This Lady is the thing. Gaga. Men have, it's not all men, obviously, but there's a thing on the internet where men have makeup blindness where yeah. they go, I like a natural look, no makeup on women. And they'll show a picture and the picture will have a woman in full face makeup, but it's just not colorful. Well, I'll show you the one I found. Hold on. This is like a real thing. So I don't know. We'll see. Well, all right. So this, you know what she looks like normally. Or do you need both? Do you need both? Both. Both. Oh, the can't. This thing's turned. So just show me what you mean by, by no makeup. Um. So this is the no makeup. Is this the picture you saw or an equivalent? This is the pit here. Sorry. I'm put like, it up. I'm trying to put it up. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. That looks like she's got a clean face. Yeah. She's just chilling. Yeah. I think that's awesome. No, I think she's really, she's a very pretty person. I mean, pretty she's person. a pretty human being in general. Yeah. But when she's not doing that, she's doing like this. I actually think most women look really nice without makeup. I also think that. I mean, women should do what they want to do. Yeah. That's my entire take. That's on this. my, that's what I'm saying. If they want to be, if they want to do this and like cake it on, go. Yeah. A lot of people also think that like. If a woman's wearing makeup, it means that they're like, oh, it's because women are forced to whatever. I know so many women who, first of all, people are mean to them about their makeup and are like, oh, no one likes that much makeup on you, but they love it on themselves. So who cares? And like, I don't know. Some people think that just because societally makeup is expected that if you wear makeup, you're societally like giving in. Well, when in reality, like anything could be giving in. Here's a good example. That's Gaga, I think, taken from a shot from either Stars Born or maybe the new. She is Joker. definitely wearing makeup. She's wearing some, but it's meant to be a different look, right? Yeah. Ow! I pinched my toe. Frick. You okay? Ah! Ow! I pinched it in my chair. I do this sometimes. That was on, not on purpose. Yeah. Anyway, the anyway. glamored up, like glamored up Kardashian thing, is actually a major turn off. I look at it and go ah. for you. Well, I know there are people. I know. Are, there's some people that are really into it. But like, I just, I don't know. I like real. I like authentic. Sure. I like, you know. I like when people wear makeup that is, highlights the like weirder parts of makeup. Like, you know who's a good example is Chapel Roan. I don't know who that is. Chapel Roan. We've showed you her song. She's a singer. She's really good. Um, Chapel Roan. She's gotten really popular lately, but she actually has taken her makeup from a drag, like drag looks and drag style. Yeah. Right? So she's... Is this her? She's got this rad look that she does where it's like very blue eyeshadow, very red lipstick. What do I big know? Do orange I know her hair. from something? Am I supposed to know her? We talked about her? Yeah, we've I've shown her, her music your her bit. I've shown you her music. Look for some other ones. That one's a little more toned down. Um No. Is it in her? I mean it's her. You need to spell chapel C H A P P E L L E. P It's like Chappelle -E -L -L -E. kind of. L L E. So Chappelle, Chappelle Roan. Kind of, but, but, but she's it's pronounced chapel. As a chapel. Well, these all look the same. I didn't get much new to results. It looked like a big, like that one. Yeah, that that one's good. Okay. This so, very like, kind of theater, a little bit draggy. This like look, I love when people do that. Really, You're I into like that? when people do fun makeup. Okay, yeah. Like makeup I can that's see that. it's more of a fashion statement than just like I have a zit, you know. <laughs> see, to me, so that that that's somebody's jam right there. Yeah. My jam. She's still wearing a lot. I know. Of, that's a lot of makeup. It's she's still wearing makeup, currently. but what I'm saying is, it's not meant to be flamboyant. It's just no. there. Yeah. And if you're not going to wear any at all, I still like you mm -hmm. because you're real. That's why I like your mom. Now, mom looks great in makeup, but she also looks great without makeup. Yeah. And I think maybe that's tainting my position on this whole argument. Again, I think most people look great without makeup. I also think a lot of people look cool with makeup. Yeah. I think that if you are, you know. You should do what you want and not what other people tell you to do or what you think other people want. Well, people definitely should do whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any. Just be do whatever. Do people should be and do whatever they freaking want to do. If I want to get up in the morning, pull roll my hair back with my hand, uh, you know, smudge my face with a zit cover and then wear a dumb shirt like this, I should be allowed. And if I'm allowed to do that, everybody should be allowed to do whatever they want. Yeah. Including cover themselves like crazy in makeup or none at all or everything in between. I don't care. Yeah. Who am I to judge? Makeup can also be an art form. 
Can we talk about uh, your Airbnb trip with your friends? Sure. Carter went on a weekend girls trip. I went on a thing. weekend girls trip. We went just to like Ogden, Layton area in Utah for people who know. Why there, by the way? Uh, because yeah. we were looking for Airbnbs and that was one of the ones that was cheaper. And also... Do you know why it's cheaper? Because it's Ogden. Ogden. <laughs> but there was also some really cool like shops up in Ogden that we were looking at. And so we were like, that's perfect. Yeah. It's also but- so beautiful up there. Hold on, I have an idea for like next week. Like in the mountains. Before we talk about that. It is pretty up there. Yeah. Wolf Creek's up there. It's a yeah. beautiful area. But that, the city of Ogden, freaking hate it there. Yeah. Kind of sucks. Um, it's the Wild West. I will do next Monday's episode in full flamboyant makeup. Oh. If you do it. Okay. I won't do it. I'm not good at it, but I can do it. I don't know how to do it. I so was not and, a makeup you, child. So like, I feel like so many people are really good at makeup, spend a lot of time on it. And I'm like so impressed by it. I'm not great, but I will try. Okay. So you and mom, you and mom can do it. Can I do kind of a punky look? I don't care. Whatever you want. <gasps> Eyeliner. So I'm going to go. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Chat's like, Van should do it. No. It'll be <laughs> that just, would be funny. It'll be squiggles. <laughs> He's been drawing stick people with a belly and a, and a, and a small black dot in the middle. So it's like stick person and then a big round thing right where the belly would yeah. be. And then a little round. Like a dot. button. And I don't know if that's him trying to show a pregnant person. Belly button. If that's him. Kid drawings are the best. Especially his age. Around five, the stuff your pen poops out when you're five, psychopathic's weird. Like, Car, I still have some old art of Carter's. You know what I'm Oh, I'm, I'm sure it's insane. right now. I have it. You know what's cool, though, about up at Ogden while you look that up? Yeah, go. There was a June bug that I... Uh, that was a June beetle that was like living at the same house we were in. Yeah. And so we kept finding it. It kept flying at us when we sat in the jacuzzi at night. Yeah. And it was great. It was so cute. Did you? Um, I've never seen a June bug here. So I was really excited. Any, any photos of this or anything? Yeah, I have photos. Oh, well, I'd like to see them. Here, I'll send, I'll, I send to you. You send to me? Okay. While you're doing that, uh, date last opened. Let's I'm go. Texting it to you. If that I works. I'm going to go way down. Yeah, it's fine. Boop. I'm going way down here. If I can find this. Oh, here's some early art from Carter that she'll hate me showing. Oh, no. Don't show that. No. I have prints over there of that. It's not good. It's, it's bad. It's good. What do you mean it's not good? It's bad. I was like 17. Yeah, but I think you were younger. I think you were 15. That was embarrassing. Here it is. Chat. She hates it. I'm, I mean, it's good. I honestly think if you're not a little embarrassed by your old work, you're not improving. You're not improving. Yeah. <laughs> you need to show a marked increase in quality yeah. or else. Because then at the same time, here's Carter with something more It recent. injures me. Why won't this open? Cancel. Oh, yeah. That's not even that recent. That was, that's like a year and a half ago yeah, or something. Yeah, a year and a half ago. Um, I'm trying to no, find the one. Two years ago. Ew. I can't find. I have an old scribble you did. Um, it's amazing. Uh oh. <laughs> you and your brother. I'm worried. Aw. It's cute. That's whenever people thought we looked like twins. Oh, and here's when we you the were same little. Hair. Look at that. Nick has this curly little blonde hair. There's Aww. mom looking twenty years like younger. Like mom. <laughs> and there's you. Looking cute as button. Cute as a button. I don't know what happened. All right, I can't find it. I was so cute. That's a bummer, because these are great. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's an AI file. It won't work. Never mind. All right, well, screw that. To answer people in the chat, you don't have to shave for makeup. I'll do it around the beard. Look. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, and there you are in your neck brace. I was so Aww. mad. What a, what a nightmare that was. And here you are. That was a rough one. Oh, I can't show that one. <laughs> I can show this one. There you are again. Yep. Side view. Neck brace. Yep. That was a bad time. Here you are in 2004. I know that because I remember the day we went there. I remember that day, too. That's when I punched Nick's tooth out. Yep. Nick lost a tooth that day. Yeah. Here's Carter playing. It was an accident. I didn't Whoops. punch him on purpose. <laughs> what is the MPEG? Oh, it's an MPEG file. <laughs> That's Carter playing soccer. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Here, I'll give you an actual picture. There it is. She's over by the goalie. I was always the goalie. There she is. Because I was the tallest. Look at you, you little pigtails. I was the tallest and our team was really good. So I never saw the ball. So I would sit in the grass and just pick things. Oh man. You were, play the, with you were the cutest little kid. I was so cute. Look at you here in this photo here. Adorable. Adorable. Here's another one. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't either. You got down a rabbit hole. I went down a bit of a rabbit hole. That's cute. Look at you. Oh my gosh, those bangs. Then jump ahead to high school. Boom. Oh gosh. Yeah. I got big. And then look at this one. Oh my gosh, dude. Here's a bigger one. You're so cute. What? Like how, how... 
What happened to my eyebrows? I feel like my eyebrows like filled in a lot. Look at your Sones chin and your double, what do you call those? Dimples. Dimples. Still have those. Mud. You wearing a mud shirt? Anyway, I can't find the scribbles. That was the point of this. Oh, such a little freak. Oh, I love your Pac-Man drawing. Little twiggy. Oh, I like that one. I have that one printed over there. See, and that's old. You're proud that of that. That one is old. I'm still proud of that one. I still, I look at it and I'm like, it could have been better. But uh, <laughs> that's just normal artist stuff. Yeah, we all, we all <laughs> do that. Oh, here's you on first day of school. It's really small. Look at you. Oh. You didn't even look nervous. It's probably in kindergarten. All right. Audio well, listeners grade? have all left now. Yep. Bye. See you later. Anyway, guys had fun and no one died or got sick and everyone's good. Everyone's good. Because there's a surge going on. Yep. Everyone's been pretty safe. I have two friends who are fully immunocompromised most of the time. Um, One of them just got COVID and has been recovering and she was better. But one also was at the hospital? No, the hospital one is the other one. Good. She's okay. But we're all generally pretty careful just because of them. Yeah. I'm always, I always wear a mask everywhere still because I don't want to get sick. So when you guys go to Comic Con, Fan Expo, whatever it is, Mm -hmm. what's the, you got a plan? You gonna, I wear a mask. You wear a mask? Wear a mask, hand sanitizer with you all the time. Yeah. I take a zinc, which usually makes me very sick if I don't eat eat with it. Eat with the zinc. I eat a lot. Even when I eat a lot, it still like makes me a little barfy. You need like a whole burrito with a zinc. Yeah, you have to go nuts. Did you eat my burrito, by the way? Yeah. It had it had meat in it. No, it didn't. It did. It was beans. Had chicken. You're wrong. Mom said she goes. She's left that in the fridge because it had meat in it. I said oh, I'll eat it then. Nope. And that I had, is there not. There little a, bits of chicken nope. in it. It had rice and beans. How do you know that? Because I opened it. Because I made sure it was mine. Oh, why did you not eat it the first time? Because I left on my trip. Well, mom said to eat it. That was actually a mom thing. All right. She goes, that's going to go bad. Don't claim it's because there's meat in no, it. No, she goes, that's going to go bad. And Carter wouldn't eat it because it had meat in it. That's what she said. You owe me one. I don't owe you anything. You I buy you food all the time. Owe me a Taco Bell <laughs> burrito. <laughs> Whatever. But it was uneventful. Nobody died. That's, that's good. Yes. And your dog barked while you were gone. How do you feel about that? Yeah. I came home and her, my room smelled like vomit. It was which so was bad. Awesome. It was so bad. And then like... She gets nervous when you leave. A and couple hours. And when you're not hours, around, she pukes. Yeah. Yeah. A couple hours after, uh, my cat projectile vomited all over the um, laundry room floor. Wonderful. Which was fantastic. Yeah, he's great. Loved cleaning that he's up. He's been the best pet. Mm-hmm. Just amazing Don't member know why. of the family. He, he actually, he overdrank his water because sometimes he does that. Yeah. And he vomited. Uh, KT Data in the chat says uh, kevin says i've i'm siding with scott on this one shouldn't leave food before a trip what do you think of i that? didn't mean to leave it i was gonna bring it with me mm. Mm. no you weren't well also, you didn't but though. i paid for that burrito and so you owe me but i pay for your burritos all the time no you don't many times never lots of burritos not in modern age <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> Modern age. We're still in the modern age. <laughs> Aren't we always in the modern yeah, age? Yeah, I don't think we're ever not in the modern yeah. age. I was born into the modern age. Um, all right. What else we got going? Oh, today. Oh, what'd you do? You said you had something else with the dog you were going to tell me. Or was it the cat? No, it was the cat vomiting. That was the story? Proje- like literally projectile across the floor. Did you watch him do it? Yeah, it was horrible. And he left like a whole trail? Upsetting. That's gross. And then he freaked out and ran away. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, why, why did he get sick? Too much hair? No, he, he drank too much water. He doesn't he, do it often, but sometimes when he does, he's like... He's an idiot. It's massive. It's gross. This is the most beautiful Maine Coon cat you've ever seen. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's but half he's Maine Coon. stupid. He is stupid. He's so stupid. All cats are dumb. No, some are smart. Him. Some of them are really smart. When he is have not. you ever met a smart cat? Um, I think Brian <laughs> Ibbett's cat, cat is very smart. I think... I I'm, bet you Brian Ibbett would be like... He agrees. Oh, he loves Anara. stupid. No, maybe they're weird little black one. Maybe he's dumb. I think all cats are stupid to a degree because they're animals. It's like the dogs. So what are you saying about your favorite? You like them more than people. Yeah. But you think they're dumb. Yeah, because when animals are dumb, they don't cause wars. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like an easy answer. <laughs> well, that's a good question. Can I ask you a question? What's, what's your question? What does a 20-something-year-old young woman... Young lady... Young lady, think of uh, all this Kamala Harris. Sorry, Kamala Harris business. I'm I'm working hard stoked. to not say her name wrong because I know mm-hmm. some people get in big heat for that. I'm not trying to. I don't. I see it and I just say, Yeah, Kamala. I mean Kamala. Yeah. Anyway, what do you think of that whole deal? I'm excited that we now one, get to one choose. second you had a shriveled up raisin. <laughs> yeah, and the next second you didn't. Like, for the first time in a while, we've had an actual candidate who's not just two feet from the grave at all times. Yeah. High-fiving the devil. 
So you guys are pretty. <laughs> you got you and your your uh, your generation seem pretty stoked about it. We're excited that like ever we're not. No one There's is no going to worship thing as perfect. this. Yeah. There's nothing perfect. You're like, not going to go to rallies and your truck A-cab, covered in stuff, still. and you're not going to wear hats. I understand. Yeah. We're not culty about these things. But at least she's a politician, <laughs> like a real one, yeah. someone who she's smart, understands things, who we've seen debate and gone. And like actually debated well and professionally, and not yeah. just talking about golf. You take the uh, you take the you take the the team play the team sports out of this, and she's a smart, well accomplished human being. Yes, and she's that getting all kinds of is crap more than we've been able to get for a few years. But it would does it piss you off that they're going after her saying that because she hasn't had kids, she can't, she's not fit to lead, which is insane. No, nope. first of all, no one does that to the men. Also, no president has ever given birth. Yeah, no president's ever given birth so up they, to this how point. How are they uh, eligible? Plus, Second there are all, some that didn't have kids, she's, period. She's raising kids still. Yeah. So claiming that she didn't birth them makes her less of a woman is insane to me. I don't know why this is. So a lot of times you'll hear political mudslinging from both sides. And sometimes you see that it's just mudslinging for mudslinging's sake. And I kind of understand it in that context. Yeah. But some of it seems so dumb now. So dumb. Because it's like, wait, that's your, you're doing, you're saying that? Like, oh, that's oh. lame. No, it's one of those things where it's like almost you can't go after race. You can't go after gender. Oh, they'd like to. They'd like to, but you can't because it's a little bit too unalienating. Well, they can and they have, but in... <laughs> but they won't really. The little little sneaky ways. Yeah. It's like, wild, the things they say. And it's like, do you, yeah. um... <laughs> well, I don't know. All I know is now there's a very, very... The oldest man ever to be nominated for president is mm-hmm. now running for president. Yep. He took that. He took that record... By no unbeknownst to him, he took that record one day out of nowhere, and I think that's funny as it's hell. It's so funny because they no, were campaigning on that. The whole Biden dropping out is yeah. the funniest thing ever, and then Harris taking up the the like torch. It's so fantastic. It's just yeah. hilarious to watch them scramble and go. We spent a lot of money on like. So for those being mean to for Biden. those at home or only if it's red tie or nothing, I understand that all of this talk makes you insane and want to throw your phone. But that's not my point with the discussion. My point is there are people younger than us and it's their temperature on this that I'm most interested in. I don't care what the olds think. Yeah. No, Harris has Our her time issues. time is done. But I am excited to... My first presidential election was Trump and Hillary. That's your first you could that have voted in? That was my first voting election. Oh my gosh, dude. So I'm excited to have literally anything at this point. So you've never had... You haven't had an election that didn't have Trump running. Yeah. Weird. So wait, let me think about this. Who was my first? I I came of age and could have voted for, let's see, 89. No, 88. I turned 18. Whenever it was. So I could have voted for, I guess I just had Bush Sr. And uh, who was it? Who wrote, I don't remember who went against Bush Sr. I don't know. He went from VP. He was vice president. No one remembers ran for president the after Reagan. losers. Dukakis is that who it was? Dukakis. 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 <laughs> He's still around. <laughs> and then we got uh, who was after that? Clinton and Gore won. Gore against Senior Bush trying to run again. They won. That's the time. That's when Ross Perot stuck his nose in it. Is Al Gore's full name Al Gore? Or is it like Albert? Albert Gore. Albert Gore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If he had any cooler of a name, he would have like the coolest name. But because his name is Albert, here's the thing: Gore that I, is less the effective. The only thing that makes him not boring and just put bore me to tears yeah. is that he'll go on Futurama and yeah. do funny, delightful. Stuff. Yeah, he makes me laugh. <laughs> uh, and then you had uh, Clinton wins Clinton. twice. He beats. Uh, oh yeah, remember the Simpsons twirling, twirling. It was against um, Bob Dole. Says Bob Dole. Thanks. Remember yeah. that? Yeah, I voted for Dole. I like Dole. He was a good guy. Dolan one Gore should have got One of his other. hands was jacked. So it was like from the war. Bob Dole needs company. And he would just, he'd, he's, he'd have that little stump and he'd be out going, Bob Dole thinks that we could do the thing. That's what Bob Dole said. He always did the third yeah. person. So that Simpsons episode was like dead accurate about the way he talked. Yeah, it's the same in Futurama. He goes, Bob Dole needs company. Yep. LaRouche won't stop with the knock-knock jokes. Oh, yeah, and he always held a pencil. That's right, Leslie. A pencil. I, I liked him. <laughs> I, vo- I voted for Dole, no problem. He was a he was easy to vote for. And then you had, um, okay, so Clinton wins again. Then Bush Jr. wins the next one. Mm-hmm. We'll have a little history lesson. And then 
Bush wins again. My point is no one who's become president has done it clean or have been a great person, honestly. Per- How personally. about Washington or Adams? Washington had slave teeth. Slave teeth? His teeth were made of slave teeth. What? Do you not know this? No, th- I didn't the know that. The whole wooden true. teeth thing <laughs> yeah. is it was his teeth were made of slave teeth. Hold on, I'm looking this up. Right. I need some confirmation. Okay. <laughs> Washington had slave teeth. <laughs> I've never heard We were this. mistaught this. Okay. Woodrow Washington was the first president of the United States, lost all but one of his teeth by the time he was inaugurated, and had at least four sets of dentures he used throughout his life, made with brass, lead, gold, animal teeth, and human teeth. Mm-hmm. The dentures were primarily created to attend uh, and attended by John Greenwood, Washington's dentist. In 1756, uh, when he was 24 years old, that being Washington, Dennis pulled out his first tooth. According to his diary, he paid five shillings, which is about... 25 cents today <laughs> to a Dr. Watson for the removal. His diary also regularly mentioned troubles such as teeth aching and lost teeth. Man, his teeth were not great. Yep. John Adams said uh, Washington attributed loss of teeth to uh, using them to crack walnuts. <laughs> Most modern historians suggest that the uh, ca- calomel, calomel, the mineral for, uh, form of mercury and chloride or mercury chloride, which Washington was given to treat smallpox, probably contributed to his he tooth loss. He was sick a lot. Yeah, but he did all right. He had a lot of issues. Uh, It says here, okay, dentures. Uh, uh, Took an oath of office, apart from disfigurations. I I can't find the slave bit. Well, human teeth meant, who else were you getting human teeth from? Well, could just be dead people. Uh Uh-huh. Why not? I don't know. This this sounds like... This is a thing. This sounds like hokum. No, this is a thing. Well, I I need some sort of backup. Search, were his teeth made from slave teeth? George Washington's teeth. Okay, here's a whole article on just the teeth. Yeah. Dentures. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, here you go. <laughs> this will this will work. During his life, he had four sets of dentures. Began wearing partial dentures in 1781. Despite many, many people believing they were made of wood, they contained no wood. They were often made of teeth extracted from enslaved people yep. and other mineral or materials, including hippopotamus, ivory, brass, and gold. The dentures had a metal fastener, uh, springs to force them open, as well as bolts to keep them together. Uh, records at Mount Vernon show Washington bought teeth from slaves. Uh, the poor in the Western world had sold teeth as a means of making money since the Middle Ages, which were used as dentures or implants. So he didn't like take them from his slaves. Give me your teeth. I guess then had slaves will have to survive. Yeah, he had slaves. I mean, <laughs> they all did. human beings. They all did. Yeah. Well, not all of them. Bad. Um, well, one of them didn't. Power wa- and wealth don't come unless you exploit people. And that's what slavery was. Did Adam have... And is. Adams have... I don't think Adams had slaves. Pretty sure he did. I think he was the one that didn't. Look it up. He was weird. He was weird. Look it up. And he was ugly as sin. <laughs> he was ugly. He was an ugly little man. Did you ever see... You should watch that the miniseries on HBO with Paul Giamatti as... Uh, Paul, or as oh, uh, that's interesting. As President Adams. Fantastic miniseries. Oh. It's so good. It's a few years old now. I um, am. All right, real quick. John Adams... Let's take a look at John Adams. Jonathan Adams. What an ugly mother. Look at that guy. <laughs> what an ugly mug. He died in 1801, uh, the same day as Jefferson, a few hours apart. Oh, yeah, I knew about that. And they f- fought all the time. They hated each other. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Slavery. Let's just find this out, because I think that's right. <laughs> he was the uh, Adams one. never owned a slave and declined on principle to use slave labor, saying, I have throughout my life held the practice of slavery in such abhorrence that oh. I never owned a Negro or any other slave. I don't know why I emphasize that so loud. You, Yeah, you made sure people knew. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, whatever. Though I have lived in many years and... Uh, and uh, sorry. It, what? Though I have lived for many years in times... It's weird. Okay. When the practice was not disgraceful, but uh, the best men in my vicinity thought it not inconsistent with their character, and when it had cost me thousands of dollars for the labor and substances of free men, which I might have saved by the purchase of slaves at the time... Hmm. Uh, because they were very cheap. He, the way he talks is a very different time. All right, mad respect. Mad respect. That guy was a good dude. He probably didn't. He probably did other stuff, but he probably could. Mad get... respect for the not slave thing. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He, we just found it a nice thing about a yeah, founding. I'm father. giving him props for that. Well, maybe. I'm just saying. I don't think I'm sure any he did president. Some other dark business. Pretty sure no president got in there without doing something. I think that you just don't. I mean, you got to read about him. Got to learn. See. Mm-hmm. You got to understand where this guy's. You know where he comes from, and his son John Quincy Adams, Jonathan Quincy, also served as president. Yes, but one. He also didn't have slaves. No, 
Although, and by then, wait, when was Ra- when was um? <laughs> you must said Reagan. Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> when when did uh, when did old Stovepipe Junior come along? Um, Stovepipe Junior. What's his name? Lincoln. When Abraham did Lincoln, Lincoln? come around? <laughs> <laughs> Wipe Stovepipe Junior. What does that mean? <laughs> Because of his hat? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Was that was so out of pocket. Stovepipe Jr. Stovepipe Jr. Uh, 16th president of the United States. Anyway. He was well, 16, right? Uh, that feels right. Not when he was elected. Lincoln, yeah. No, 16th president. Oh, that sounds right. Yeah. I'm yeah. not actually sure. Anyway, he was president from 17, uh, John Adams from 1797 to 1801, vice president to Thomas Jefferson, very tumultuous relationship, mm-hmm. 1797 to 1801. And uh, that was back when, like, your vice president was the person running against you, right? Who e- lost? Yeah, it was different then. And we had the Whig party, so you had all this, con- it was different. It was all different. I think we, different. Should, bring, we should bring the Whigs back. Let's do it. <laughs> W I G G. At this it point, named, it was named after a dude, I think. Nothing's like weirder, so might as well. Yeah, might as well. Let's do it. It's already weird. I uh, got a question here for you. Hmm. Uh, what hero... Oh, this is an anonymous person. Okay. What hero movies does Carter want? Squirrel Girl or something? I don't know if they're being sarcastic because we were talking about how you thought the Marvel movies were running a little flat lately. Yeah. Although Deadpool and Wolverine is awesome. Yeah, I've heard. And I think you would really like it. I think Squirrel Girl would actually be sick. I like Squirrel Girl. She's yeah. fun and silly. Yeah. Um, Maybe she's in the new. I think they Wolverine just need to relax a little. <laughs> relax. They are. They seem to be. They seem to be. They seem to be going. Yeah. Oh, this isn't working anymore, which their, is good. Their Comic Con thing had some big announcements, but it was mostly about what's immediately next, not what's happening five years in the future. Yeah. They seem to be just like. I was talking to Brian this morning about it. It's like kind of slowing things down. A little they bit. should, because I feel like having multiple movies a year sometimes and just like pumping it shows out like nothing is creating some major like losses in quality. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I I have not been blown away by like blown blown away like amazing experience at the theater with a Marvel movie since Endgame, and yeah, uh, Wolverine and Deadpool came close. It's very good. Um, do you know I, what? You, you know what I just was going to tell you though. You know what I'm hmm. surprised by? Hmm. I told you this already. What? I don't know how Wolver or sorry, I don't know how those Deadpool movies managed to have so much heart in them. Yeah, no, I I agree. Even the first two, it's like there's this level of like, yeah, they're being ridiculous and angry and it's so nihilistic. Nihilistic, yeah. yeah. But then at the same time, there's just this like little bit of like, but we care. Yeah. <laughs> it's really strange. It's weird how they pull it off. I really respect it. It works like really it well. But don't take your kids unless she's 26 or 27. Yeah. 27? Don't take your younger than probably 17 children. Are you 27 now? I am 27. What? I know. What? It's crazy. You're old. How am I not dead? <laughs> I don't know how I'm alive still. How am I not dead? I guess I started young. Yeah, you did. Very young. Hey, guys, here's what you do to make sure you see your kids for a long time as they get older. Have kids when you're 24. Or when you're <laughs> Three. like 23. 40, just adopt a already adult child. Yeah. Then like you're good. A full grown adult child. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be weird, though. Wouldn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I suppose people can do whatever they want. Yeah, do whatever you want. Um, Here, speaking of bad go. media, by the way, go. Acolyte, we finished it. Oh, Not good. I thought you said that last week. Did Not it, good. Did it end between last week and now? Well, we saw the final one last oh. this past didn't, week. Didn't redeem itself for you? No. Okay. Nothing made sense. Everyone's choices was stupid. So no, uh, nothing positive to say in the realm of... The fighting is cool. The choreography is cool. The ideas are cool. Actor from uh, Squid Game is cool. Actor from Squid Game fantastic but wait, none of the characters all the characters you like died yeah wait that might be a partial spoiler i his... mean it was mid-season <laughs> oh but the point is a lot of stuff happens and none of it makes any like na- narrative sense yeah where it's like people are making these decisions and you're like why why would you do that why would you do this thing i'm not gonna spoil it but i was so bothered by the so end So this isn't even like hardcore star wars fan angst carter is literally you guys don't like how the story was being told. It's it not just, about that there's not potential there. The character motivation didn't make any sense. Yeah. The story was just really like confusing. It didn't make sense. It was I didn't like it. I really do think the concepts were there. The actors they chose were really good. Um, The fighting was cool. All the choreography. Freaking what's his bucket and his hot arms. That's not a spoiler, but he has really hot arms. <laughs> so does Wolverine, but I'm pretty sure they um, CG'd him. A you little. think so? Ooh. It's a really good job. Mm-hmm. 
it's almost impossible to tell, but I really focused on it because I was like, <laughs> you were staring at those huge well, Jackman I'm see- arms because I'm seeing him on like he was on Hot Ones with uh, yeah Reynolds and he was doing all this promotion and he's just wearing like tight t-shirts and stuff and he is not ripped like not he is in the big. movie to be not fair close filming took place at least a year ago no i understand that but at minimum I'm, so like he's he, older he than could me. have he could have lost a lot if he was like building up for this role and then stopped i'm almost can i'm almost 100 percent convinced that they beefed him up with cg right. i'll be shocked if he's not and i'll and i think they would happily admit it it's not like they're hiding it but there was a couple of times where i was like that arm isn't really on him is it <laughs> I could just <laughs> That's tell. not his. But yeah, no, Acolyte, I'm bummed because I really like the the ideas and the actors. And like, I feel like they had the potential for something really great. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to spoil it so bad. Don't spoil it. Oh, there's one part that I was just like, oh, no. And I don't want to take anything away from people who liked it. No, I like, just did Ser- not. Serenek says he liked it more than Andor. Oh. That's fine. Uh, I haven't seen it, so I can't even speak to it. I probably will at some point. I'll just binge it. But I uh, the fact that Alicia doesn't like it, she is the Star Wars queen. She loves it all. She loves Star Wars. She likes the prequels. She likes. She likes most Star Wars. She hate. She hate likes some of it, right? Like well, the prequels aren't. She's not. She wasn't <laughs> stoked about the um, the the last two of the main line movies. Those weren't great. Seven, eight, nine. Because she re- she loved like. seven. She loved seven. Eight. She's like it's it was okay. Like they had some issues. Yeah, but nine. Eight, she eight just, had that salt planet that was all red yeah, under the thing. But nine, she was upset with. Oh, because yeah, well, it nine, just kind of like gave up. Because nine was hot garbage. Yeah, I'll say it. But I'm just saying she likes most Star Wars. This did not do it, and so I'm I'm referring to her as the expert. <laughs> well, I don't I don't even know what's next for Star Wars. Another Mandalorian season, or maybe the movie. I guess they're doing a movie. I don't know. You know what's really good? I'd take Andor season two like in a minute. Star Wars video games. They're always great. Not always. They name a bad one. Well, how far back can I go? All of them. There's some bad ones in the Super Nintendo, PS1, and uh, so 16 and 32 bit era. There's some. There's some rotten. Okay, that's fair. (laughs) But recently, I would agree with you. Yeah. They're all pretty good. Let's see how this. We got what? um, Two weeks until the the Ubisoft Open World one comes out. Really? I'm kind of excited that's about it. sooner than I thought it was. Yeah. Oh. There's a lot of pre-hate because that's how the internet is. Because the internet hates everything. But I... They hate both, everything they love. I'm both a fan of Ubisoft Open Worlds and Star Wars, so I feel like I'm going to like it. Uh, I'm excited. Yeah. We'll see how that we'll goes. We'll see. <laughs> uh, here's another question for you. What is your question for me? Dear Carter, anonymous listener asks, mm-hmm. have you ever thrown... By the way, these come to us at our text line, 801-471-0462. Uh, says, have you ever thrown a large or otherwise dangerous object object at your dad? If so, what was the cause of the event? Wait, say that again. Have you ever thrown a large thrown. or otherwise dangerous object at me? I don't think so. Because I threw a frozen loaf of bread at my mom. Yeah, I know that story. And I missed her. I don't think I've ever like <laughs> done that. <laughs> I don't think you have I either. don't think so. I was trying to remember something. You never really threw a fit. Carter only fit she ever threw when she was little, little. And they were in the form of, I want a sucker. You can't have a sucker. I want a sucker. You can't have a sucker. And then she would hold, then she would cry so hard that she when I was would like run two? out of breath. You were a little older. You got to about four before that. Ended. Really? <laughs> she would run out of breath and then kind of like struggle to breathe. And then she'd pass out. Yeah. I hated that so much. But yeah, I don't think I've ever thrown anything at you. By the time I was like 12, I was stronger than you, so. Hold on now. 12? <laughs> yeah. That's not true. About then. She's pretty strong. That's when I started to really grow. I wouldn't mess with her, you guys, for real. She I left, can squat you. She squatted me the other day. I got squatted. Do you want to tell people your weight or is it fine that it's pre- impressive enough? Oh, it's fine. Enough? 200. I was 270. Could you lift me then? Yeah. I so I can, I but I'm know only that I can squat now. at least 270. You can do 230. I haven't done... Because I'm at 2.30 right now. I haven't done proper like lifting in the gym in a very long time, so I don't know what I can actually do, but I think I'm up at least 2.70. Yeah. I can squat. But it's also different if you're holding... Human weight? A human... Because you're all... It's like you're hanging. Yeah, it's different. It's not like a stiff bar with like mm-hmm. big wheels on the side of yeah. it. Yeah. You know? All right. Well, so she's never thrown anything at me, and that's a weird thing to ask. <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> Cyrenic says, Carter, throw a pen at him now. <laughs> don't do it. I took all the pens. I think I, I've thrown stuff at you like to get your attention, but it's never anything that would actually hurt you. No, nothing dangerous. But we didn't. We never had those um, with any of the kids. I never had like those violent teenager, angry, I hate you, dad 
sneak out of the house. Me and Taylor did with each other. With each other. Oh yeah. Yeah, but that's different. <laughs> but like, and we would, and when you guys would get in trouble for doing that, you were both like scared. <laughs> yeah. But I never got these two, or or their brother, to like do that typical teenage thing. No one ever went. You don't understand. I hate you, Dad. It's not a phase, Dad. It's not a phase. I love him, Dad. I love him. And I'm moving out of the state. We're going to Nevada. <laughs> like none of that ever happened. No. In our, in our grow up or in their growing up, which I'm very glad about because I was dreading that kind of stuff and it never yeah. happened. I think Tay was the angstiest of us. So oh, if yeah. you didn't have it with her, and she wasn't even that angsty. Like on the chart, she was on like the, pissy. She was the, just like ugh. On the angsty chart, though. Pretty low. Could have been worse. Compared to many, sure. many other teenager yeah. types, she was nothing. But she thought she was, you know, she thought she was really going through it sometimes. Yeah. You know what she was really good at, though? You guys remember chat room? You guys remember 10 key on your uh, flip phones? Do you yeah. Mem- do you remember that? Yep. And you would have to type entirely with... We were talking about that the other day and how fast we got yeah. at the 10 key typing. It used to blow like we were just my like, mind. And now I don't think I could do it. I couldn't do it. I think I'd have to be like, where's A? <laughs> I'd have to remember it. Because you used to have to, didn't you have to kind of hold a shift key and then tap through a thing to get no, to No, you the... just would hit it quickly in, I mean, I don't know if other phones did this, but the phone I had was like, if you wanted, let's say C, that's number two, yeah. and you'd have to hit it three times quickly. Oh, right. And then it would kind of stop, and then you'd have to wait for it to go yeah, to the next line. Yeah, it was line. a timing thing. Yeah, yeah, it was all timing. It sucks. I was amazing at it. What were we doing as a people? I don't know how... Because I literally look at them now, and I can't, I, I can't, I could not do it now, at all. But I was a pro. Yeah, it's so funny to look back on. I wonder though if you handed it to Tay, if she would pick it right back up, because she was really good. Like she talked to all her oh, friends yeah. that way, and she was like, "We were speedy." Brrr. Yeah, speedy teens. Very different time. It was. Um, you had a Palm Pilot. Remember that? I did. I had many Palm Pilots. You had many Palm Pilots. My favorite. We thought was, they were so cool. They were cool. My favorite was the five, the Palm Five, and it was like metallic. It was still black and white, but it was metallic. Yeah, I it, remember that. Oh, I loved it. It was so it cute. It was thin. Yeah. I paid way too much you for had that, it. Yeah, the little stylus that came with it. Yeah, dude. I just, the sound of the stylus is like etched in my brain. Really? The little like, ding, ding, like ding, when ding, you tap, ding, tap? Yeah. I wish I still had that. There's something about it. What did I do with it? Probably sold it. You yeah. always sold things that you were like, I got the next thing. Yeah, but that's dumb. I should have held it. You should have held a few things. Yeah. There are consoles I should have kept. Mm hmm. And there's uh, and some games for those consoles, which now sell for like crazy on eBay. Yeah, I had some rare ones. Pisses me off. Yeah, I'm not happy about this at all. You were too much of a cleaner outer. Cleaner outer. Well, cleaner I wish outer. I was now. Look at my office. Yeah, but then in ten years, you're gonna be like, oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. Yeah, but I gotta do it. Dude. <laughs> I gotta clean. I hate it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, here's another question. Oh, I have a question. Why is your brother watching 2009 K dramas? I don't know. It looks so bad. It's so bad. It, it looks, looks like, like it's filmed on like a little camcorder. Yeah, yeah an and old the sound, Super camcorder. It's someone terrible. will scream and the sound will literally like like break the mic. It gets it's all crunchy. It's so awful. It's so bad. And I don't even know where they're watching this. I don't either, actually. I <laughs> didn't think about that. It's some channel. It's streaming horrible. Thing. And I don't I don't get it. And they just sit there and act like it's the best thing ever. Good for them. And they're kind of doing it ironically. Yeah. But I can't tell. I think they might actually like it. It's like ironic, but they're enjoying it a little too much. <laughs> and I feel like I failed as a father now because of this mess. 2009 K dramas. Yeah. It's a K. B was explaining it to me. It's a K drama that is based on a Japanese manga that like was really popular in 2009, I guess. How often does that happen? Korea know. making. Apparently, there was a Chinese version, a Japanese live action version, and a Japanese animated version. Well, that doesn't surprise me. As well me. as the Korean drama. They tend to bleed that stuff dry. I don't know. It was weird. Like that three body problem that was on Netflix last year or this year. Uh, I, I loved it. Really about. liked it. It's based on a Chinese author's book. Oh, cool. But it's like the fourth major production of it. It's just the first one in English. Yeah. They're all whatever. Yeah. I don't want to see those other ones. I want to see the cool ones that were made here. Uh huh. Well, there's a lot of British people involved, but not the British. Oh no, the British. Not they've the come. Brits. They've come. They've they've taken the hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> taken the hobbits to Isengard. All right, here's one. Uh, dear Scott, this is also from a listener who is not have a name here. He says, "Hey Carter." Mm. Uh oh no, sorry, it's no hey, it's has. Has Carter <laughs> ever said anything that made you regret having children? Have you ever said anything? Said- or done anything. Let's done. add done. Said or done that made me go, oh, I shouldn't have had these kids. <laughs> no. Now it's confession time. I don't think so. I can't. You ever had like a really bad day? 
And you were like, oh, my gosh. Bad days, but I never had one where I went, I can't believe I had kids. That never happened. Hmm. And not you in particular. Neither with the other two. I didn't have anything like that. You guys got to understand. I don't know if we were unusual or not. You guys wanted kids. We had a very regret-free child raising. Yeah. It just didn't. We just never had any moments of like, oh, no, what, what now? I think a lot of people have kids because they're supposed to. It's like, oh, when you hit this age and you get married, now it's time to have kids. Yeah. And I, I feel like you guys didn't, despite the fact that you did it so early, I feel like you didn't do it for that reason. You'd you did think, it because you were like, You'd think we'd have like, regrets, though. It's like, oh, man, I missed out on my, from 23 to 30 because everybody was so little or whatever. Never once thought of it that way. It was always just fine. I think mom, I, not th- By the way, if anyone else has any like negative feelings about their time, I'm not, this is not me diminishing yours at all. I promise you. you I'm just telling yeah. you, I never felt that way. You should ask mom on it, on, about it on skim, but I think mom not regrets that time, but she now has been way more interested in things like traveling and doing like concerts, stuff and, that you normally do when you're yeah. early twenties. Stuff I got no time for. Yeah. She's like, but stuff you normally do in your early 20s, but she did kids. I don't think she regrets having kid, kids early. I think she just wants to now do those things. Yeah. So she's like, I want to go to the Janet Jackson concert. And I'm like, knock like, yourself cool. out. I don't want to go there. I want to travel with her. We're going to go travel places yeah, when I find fine my passport. With me. You guys go. <laughs> I'll save up for a couple of good ones, but you guys can go to do your piddly ones. Piddly. Um, piddly. So maybe we're weird. I don't know, but I never, I didn't ever regret any of it. Yeah. You guys would have had to have murdered somebody. For any regrets. Like Jeffrey Dahmer's so? parents. I bet they're like, ah, oh, freaking Jeffrey. Ah, oh, Jeff. He ate those people. Did you call him Dahmer? Dahmer. Dahmer? You, you're saying Dahmer. Dahmer. Yeah, now you're saying Dahmer. No, I was saying Dahmer before. You said Dahmer. Dahmer. Jeffrey say, Dahmer. Say his full name. Jeffrey Dahmer. You're saying Dahmer. No, I'm saying Dahmer. It sounds like Dahmer. Da. Do the full, wait, do the full name again. Jeffrey Dahmer. Mm. <laughs> it you you were sound a little dolmery, <laughs> a little dolmery. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I'm yeah, sure I'm... some people have regrets. I don't have any. Um, I sometimes wonder what a fourth would have been like. Really? We didn't. We weren't going to, but we thought. You know, at the time, you're like, "Well, we're we gonna do four, and then it was up to mom. Can you imagine having a 21 year old right now? Oh, that'd be weird. After Nick's, if we age? did the three years thing, yeah, yeah. Because that's how you did it. We're all three years apart. Yep. Almost per- almost purpose. perfectly. We I'm three it. years and 16 days from Nick and three years and 25 days from Taylor. Yeah. So like really close. Mom was real close about it. And we only had the two. We had two miscarriages. One before Taylor. Or I'm sorry. One between Taylor and you. Yeah. And one between you and Nick. We she always was, had, she had the one before Taylor. I thought she had them only in between. I think she had one before Taylor. Oh, that might. Maybe we had three. Anyway, I'd, yeah, it was always in between us, though. Yeah. But I don't know, man. And then I just, after Nick, Mom was like, all right, we're done. <laughs> but I always thought, what is a fourth? Is it a girl? Is it a boy? What was their name? What what were they into? What does the dynamic... What? How does it change in yeah. the dynamic in of the, the whole family? the whole family. It's a weird thing to think about. It is weird. Yeah. I guess you'll never know. We'll never know. Uh, uh Okay. Uh, where's the, oh the dog? We talked about the dog barf thing. Oh, yep. we got to read these these texts. We got, oh, okay, we got some stuff. Text time. Text time. More here's, text time. Here's one from. Uh, uh, let's see. They, they give a name. I'm trying to find a name. I like to give names when you guys give them, but they didn't. All right, for the Monday show. I know Scott and Carter are not generally big fans of AI. I would say we're not fans of generative AI. There's yes. parts of AI that have nothing to do with the things. I mean, we have AI has with. existed for a while. Right. It's just, just not in the context it's referred to now. Right. Generative AI, LLMs, all that stuff. That's that's new, but yeah. it's not. It's different. It's different. Anyway, I got to argue that it's well suited in the spirit of the internet or to the spirit of the internet. Two reels to submit as evidence and some pet itch scratching. Okay. Well, I'll pull this link up. I'm not sure pull what that Pull them means. reels up. Uh, let's see here, chat. Gato. Oh, I see. I disagree. I hate this. Yeah, I don't like it. I hate it gives me the willies. I just hate this stuff. Like this is just uh, to me. This is. But if I what's saw the point of that, if, yeah, if I saw someone who drew a cute little cartoon of a cat in armor, I'd be stoked. Yeah, because but they, because this is AI generated, it has no soul. It has no love behind no it. Love, nothing. It's just like, oh, okay, just, and whatever. Just stole everybody else's stuff, and I don't know. I just can't. St- I don't like it. So I hate that. Look at that. There is something dead about AI too. I guess it's it's not living in general, but it's the you know soullessness. I mean? There's, no There's soul. a soullessness. There's no artist. It's like soul. hard to explain in a 
practical way. Yeah. It's but, not it's not my favorite thing. But in, in like general, yeah. Like it's That's it's, the only it's, link you sent me. It made it sound like there were two. It did. Oh wait, maybe this first one. Uh whoops. Oh, another one. Oh, dogs. Oh. It's just dogs, same thing, but just with dogs. Yeah, I mean it's I uh, get the idea. The concept's fine, but again, it's just like the I feel like context matters. <laughs> this is dogs playing poker in the traditional art yeah. sense. It's like, well, why? Yeah. And now it's kind of kitschy and fun. If you yeah. find one of those, you'll be like, yeah, I'll hang that on my wall. But and maybe it, one day we'll do that with AI, but I don't know. Because it's generated, it feels like less fun. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's less like, oh, ha ha, look at their dogs flying planes. And more like, oh, someone made a machine do this. Yeah, I can't tell. There's something, I don't know. There's a, there's a thing about it. And there's some AI I like. It's like that really creepy AI generated like stuff yeah, that's yeah. like very like, wha- and, like <laughs> turns into like the wall turns into like a face and it's all creepy. Some of those I like. It feels like a freaking dream. It's disturbing. I like some of those. Yeah, those nightmare ones are fun. But it's because it's almost using the art, like the medium as the art form mm-hmm. instead of just being like, I can make a cat. <laughs> Duplicating a cat wearing armor it's is not, not as interesting yeah. as saying... Just let it go wild and try to tell me a kind story. And then it's like, and, oh my gosh, yeah. this is insane. It's like a bad dream. I don't know. I agree. Here's one for the Monday show. Telling Gen... Oh, the people are going after me for this. Telling Gen Zs that, need, that they need a historical perspective is like telling a person with one leg they can't complain because someone else has no legs. While you stand there on your two legs, being sad about the Great Depression isn't going to put food on the table. People have to start to take the pain... Sorry to take the pain Olympics too far, and it's not healthy. Interesting. Uh, also, please continue to share adorable audio clips of your grandkids. <laughs> um, it's not what I was doing. No, I don't think that's exactly what you're doing, but I think they're taking the extreme of what I was saying mm. and applying it here because it makes sense. It, it's a good way to put it of like, being like, oh yeah, it's so sad what the Great Depression people went through is not helping us in the day No, of I know. Now. It's like when my parents would say, eat your food, they're starving kids in China. Yeah, that's not going to yeah, help you eat your broccoli. Thing. Yeah, it's, No, it's totally the same. But that is not the way I'm using it. Yeah. What I'm saying is... I understand is, having I think it would, perspective. It would help people if they had, including me, if I have more historical perspective in my assessment of what I'm seeing. Yeah. I think that's just true of a, across the generation. Yeah. I don't care about Z or and Boomer or whatever. And my point was that it would be more helpful it like that's helpful to have perspective it's more helpful to you know have physical food on the table <laughs> that's true you know what i mean that's true especially burritos that someone forgot to take with them and that i ate mm-hmm. yep here's one. Oh, i'm getting <laughs> ch- called out one more time here <laughs> okay this is for the monday show scott holy crap you sound like a boomer this is in regards to the money slash inflation conversation mm-hmm. things definitely are far worse than they all used to be we have statistics on how the government and economy has set us all up to fail financially i am going they didn't send me into this data but I, I, I everyone always says we have data but nobody ever sends it to me someone send the data um, it says, I'm going through some things in my personal life, so I'm going to say this with the best of love. Your comment on how we just need to, quote, do what we have to do, unquote. Did I say that? I don't know. Uh, in order to get by or get through it is pretty tasteless, even if it means sleeping on a friend's door or floor, is if that's what you have to do. But it actually really is set up differently for millennials and the younger generation than it used to be. It doesn't matter how hard we try. Just wanted to put that out there. I, I mean, I disagree a little in terms of like, you do just got to do what you have to do because you have to survive. Right. I don't mean that in, well, you just got to work harder. I just mean I don't you either. have to survive. I don't either, by the and way. And so you, you I know, you do. I definitely don't mean it in that way. I'm not you saying. You do what you can. I'm not like one of those guys that bought his house in 63 for two strawberries and a, and a nickel <laughs> and then went, oh, buy a house. What's wrong, you lazy gen-? I'm not doing that. No, for sure. Not even close to that. I understand the perils. I'm saying there's a way through it. I'm just have optimistic on the other side, optimistic uh, feelings about the other side of this, and that we can get there almost entirely on the backs of smart, willful young people who want to take it to the next level and get out of it, because they're going to be the ones in charge soon enough. What will they do? Yeah. Will they retract back to crappy, shitty ways like the old people before them, or will they? Well, they change this. I only wonder and if I it want all... them to, I think they're going to change it. I feel good about it. I wonder if it all crumbles before anything changes, though. I mean, it could, <laughs> but I doubt it. These things tend to be very yeah. slow. Emperor, empi- empires tend only to last about 200 years or so. 
that's what they say, but that's not true. There's some really older, there's some older empires that lasted way longer, like which, thousand year like empires. Which ones? Like the Germanic Empire, like the Technically, Ro- the Egyptian Empire was like forever. Yeah. They lasted forever. And the Romans were around longer than 200. But there's always that phrase of like, Rome wasn't built in a day, also didn't crash in a day or whatever. That was. That's not it. Didn't it didn't crumble in a day or whatever, something like that. Whatever it is, they take forever. It takes a long time. So this idea that it's all written, that it's all going to go to poop is, I don't, I don't believe it. And I'm optim, I know I'm sometimes overly optimistic about the future or how people will behave, but I am. Yeah. So no, take- I'm just saying in regards to that comment, I think it's less about, oh, just do what you have to do and more do what you have to do to live. <laughs> yeah. And, and if you can do more, great. If you can't, then And I yeah. really, really, really want things to get better for your generation. Me too. I don't know how to personally. Do you want do to know it. what's a huge bummer? What? <laughs> I was job searching today. <laughs> yeah. It's so bad. It's so bad out there. It's kind of bad. Well, it's just hilarious because technically job numbers are in the best place they've ever been. And yet, but so are layoffs. And wh- yeah, why is it in some there's industries no in particular? Junior in, positions. Yeah, in the games business is effed. And the real issue with the no junior positions is that I've been talking to some friends who are in either mid or more senior positions in game jobs. Yeah. And they're like, we're basically stuck with grunt work lately. It's like, you are you don't have enough like peons. I hate to say peons, but you know what I mean? Like I, the people who want to get into the game industry. So they're going to take the job that kind of sucks a little bit to do, but you know, it gets you in there. Yeah. They have so few of that right now that people who've been in there for a while are like stuck with these jobs that normally interns do, you know, Mm -hmm. which is not great. Also the amount of junior positions I keep finding that say junior position, entry level, entry level. Do you know what entry level is supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean you're off the street. You don't know almost anything. Maybe you have a degree. That's it. Yeah. That's weird, right? The amount I've seen that are three to five years experience in industry that are junior and entry level positions makes me want to throw up. Yeah. I don't like it either. By the way, I just got an email from Sticker Mule. Oh. I think I'll delete it and not look at it. I thought I blocked them. I hate those guys. I think their stuff's, I don't know, they're weird. They're gross. They suck. They do suck. They've sucked for a while. Uh, All right. Well, that's going to do it for today's show. That was a quick hour. Jeez. We hauled ass. Oh, wow. We really did. Mm Mm-hmm. We did. We had to much but to that, speak about. There's a lot. Look, there's a lot of cool stuff coming your way, people. If you've signed up to our Patreon, um, I I got to get stickers ready because it'll before you know it, it's the first week of August, and that's when we try to ship those. Roughly, yeah. It's my turn, isn't it? It's your turn. Yep. So stickers coming in the mail. No ads ever. Uh, bonus monthly streams. Oh, tomorrow night, 4 p.m. Tomorrow night, we 4 are doing tomorrow. Yep. Patron stream. It'll be on the Patreon site or on the app. So if you are a patron. Check yep. it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. And uh, I think we'll probably keep playing. What was it called? Forgot the name. Harold Halibut. Harold Halibut. Harold's Halibut. Harold's Halibut. Harry Halibut and the Sorcerer's Bone. <laughs> um, and that'll be that'll be tomorrow. <laughs> uh, looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, it's a great time to sign up. We just got a dude named Paul Reedlinger. I love that name. Reedlinger. Yeah, it's like Paul. He feels like he gets stuff done. Yeah. You gotta talk to Reedlinger. He'll get it taken care yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, like love in the eighties. <laughs> I love his name. Anyway, uh, be like him today. Patreon.com slash the Monday Show. That's Patreon.com slash the Monday Show. That and all other links uh, can be found at the website Frogpants.com slash Monday. You'll also find a link to Carter's store, to my store, and every other cool thing we have going. Yup. If you have questions, contact us on that page as well, and keep those texts coming to eight zero one four seven one zero four six two. Your voicemails are also warmly accepted. Warmly. Carter, is there anything you'd like to say before we go? Uh, I'm streaming tomorrow. It's Mart stuff at one. I oh. think you don't have anything at that time, right? Uh, Tuesday? Yeah. No, we're good. I think I held that open so you could do your thing. Okay. And she'll be wearing makeup? Probably not. I probably won't have my face on the screen. Oh, uh, why? Because I'm drawing. Oh, it's a drawing thing. And I'll just be looking down the whole time. Yeah, that'll be fun. But yeah, I'm doing a drawing stream. I think I'm going to draw Orin from Baldur's Gate. Um, I'm doing like those cards. What's your uh, Twitch channel? It is Miss Carter J. Miss Carter J. I'm on also Twitch. on YouTube. Oh, tw- YouTube as well. Both. I'm doing YouTube only right now. Yeah. My coast, my double stream thing kind of sucks. Really? Yeah, it breaks all the time. It doesn't. Oh, it's not consistent. Mine's it been was fine. Literally driving me crazy. Well, I mine's paid for, and I swear it's worse than when I was doing the free version. That's odd. I know it's annoying. I but yeah, it. no, I'm so I'm Miss Carter J on both YouTube and Twitch. Um, yeah. All right, it's then. fun. Check it out. Go watch her draw. That'll do it for us. Woo. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. <laughs> this. 
This show is part of the Frog Pants Network. Yes. Get more at frogpants.com. You guys want to hear Phoebe say happy birthday to me? If I'd done that on here? I think so. Did She's I? so cute. Did I do it on here? It's still cute. Well, I'll play it anyway. Here it is. Hold on. Do we what? have titles? Listen. Go shot it. That's not it. That wasn't it. <laughs> Hold on <a> <laughs> I feel like I've been pranked. Go shot. That's not it. What is that? No. We are light. Oh, I know why. You need this to is... label your stuff better. Where is it? I do. It says Phoebe. I've done this. Can you, it, are you sure it wasn't Phoebes or something? Oh, maybe I did Phoebes. Is this it? In your crackers? No. Phoebes. <laughs> oh, that's when she's low. Whoa. Hold on. Phoebes. Happy. Here we go. Hi, the birthday pops. Hi, the birthday. Hi, the birthday pops. So cute. Greatest um, thing ever had. 